Hello everyone. Uh, introduction to KNX. So I'm making this video uh, on a few of my friend requests uh, as I upload a few videos, uh, a few tutorials on how to program KNX. But some of my friends they asked me to make an introduction introductory video. So all these all this contact is uh, I made it myself and I try to make it as simple as possible and try to make it uh, as clear as possible. So what is KNX and what KNX does is uh, I'm not going into the definitions uh, like what, how it's described. Uh, for me KNX is exactly same like a Cisco protocol or IP protocol uh, but the advantage of KNX is simple it is if, uh, it bring comfort uh, easy for installation and efficient flexible if anyone interested in more detail please visit this website there is lots of material uh, the manufacturer details like everything about KNX is available there so you better go there and uh, have a wander around see what's all in there okay now let's discuss how KNX bring how KNX bring comfort so lighting are independent of switches uh, slash buttons so what we normally have at the moment like everywhere everywhere you have a one light bulb and a specific button which turn that light on and off uh, then another light for for another light you have a separate button either two button which is turning it on and off but in the KNX it is not that that's not the case they are completely independent of each other uh, from one button you can turn on one light the same light you can turn on probably from 10, 10 different other location uh, but what is most exciting is you can turn on and off all house lighting by just one button so let's suppose you want to you're going to bed sleep sleep time and uh, you have a bedside switch you press that button all lights gone off all lights gone off and you don't need to go and walk around the house to turn each and every light off all blinds can be controlled individual individually as well as together so if you add blinds to the control um, the KNX as well then uh, you can have a control or you are blind individually one by one or uh, you can have a multiple master button or like one one button let's suppose you have uh, three different light in, in one area you can control all these three by separate separate buttons and you can group these three together and you have like about 20 odd button uh, blinds in your house you can do that with one button as well so it's it's give you flexibility underfloor can be fully automated and time so underfloor are radiators or any other sort of heating can be fully automated and time so you can control all your uh, heating you can subdivide it into as many zones as you want uh, maximum limit is like a one pipe loops or couple of because you have it had to be physically a zone and you can um, make it as a timed as well so it will come on in the morning very easily and go up at some after some time for heat like air condition if you have air condition or something like that so you don't need any uh, like for each AC you will have a specific control so you don't need that anymore you can use it the same lighting switch 
for your hitrick as well uh, let's let's also bring more comfort to your life now how knx is efficient and making installation easy work on two core cable i'll show that cable later in this video so it's just you don't need to do any cabling at all i'll, I'll discuss this cabling let a little bit later in a video i had a short video showing how the cabling work uh, save energy by constant monitoring so let's suppose you have underflow uh, and you are controlling your underflow by knx so you have do you have five six different zone so each zone will have uh, like their lighting switch do measure the temperature as well so they will be constantly measuring the temperature and checking it after five minutes so after five minutes after three minutes after whatever you want to do it uh, and then on that it will decide whether that zone need to stay on or went off which save a lot of money by constant monitoring uh, less controller slash button less headache and easy to install so you don't need uh, one button for each light you have uh, our controllers so you can have one controller slash post button switch which will do all of your lighting in a specific area you can create scenes and those kind of stuff so which save lots of uh cabling you don't need lots of cabling because you have just two core cable to that device and that will work no central controller no big risk of high maintenance so if you compare with other uh, uh, building automation uh, kind of protocols or uh, techniques so man most of them they have a central controller and if that controller failed uh, if that controller failed then you have uh, a risk of high maintenance uh, which is not very efficient for long run while in knx each and every device is independent they have individual they have independent brand and if one device is failed you don't need to sweep all system you just go sweep one device and that's all how it's flexible no central controller obviously we already discussed that so you don't have any central controller and each device is independent not limited by manufacturer it's really good uh, there is hundreds of manufacturers uh, you can mix uh, different manufacturer devices like let's suppose i like thermostat of one manufacturer and i like push button of other manufacturers so i'll just buy them and they will all work with each other uh, programming can be changed anytime yeah that's pretty good you don't need to worry about it. like okay let's suppose you program uh, a master switch on the in your bedside switch which turn off all the house on and turn it on and later after a while you want to exclude probably dining area from it no problem you can change it later lighting switch can be replaced with thermostat very easily uh, it's, it's another good feature uh, i just said lighting switch can be replaced with thermostat it can be replaced with any anything it's not only thermostat it can be re replaced with uh, some sort of touch panel or something else that's that, that's a great advantage thinking about adding extension in future no problem okay so you build a house and later you want to create an extension it's straightforward you just need one cable from one extension to the from one house to another house and no a lot of headaches at all and they will be working together okay so here I have made a video and let's have how the mechanics wiring work well, how you can program it so let's play this video 
so you can see that red and black cables and this is the power supply you will need a power supply and this is switch actuator uh, eight channel switch actuator which can turn on and off eight different circuits of lights and this is uh, for the programming the last one so this is the cabling i have made it this look a bit messy i just create something very uh, quickly so i can show you something this is the knx cable the knx work on 29 uh, volt and that's how you do the knx cabling so you see one cable from one device going to another device another device and from one device is going to three devices now here is i have one switch you can press the button on it will turn on the lights it will turn off the lights and with the same button you can turn on the whole house on and off as well and here i will show you this is like canx cable that has one insulation cover which is protected from uh, power interruption like magnetic field interruption and then these are yellow and white mostly it used for some of the devices they need auxiliary power so that's why canx cable have yellow and white as well this is a usb interface which goes which connects to your laptop and you do programming through this and then you can remove the take the usb interface to another project and do programming over there and here this is programming button so every device first you need to press this button to make it into programming mode and then download program into the device i will i am downloading one now here with how you click here and full download need uh, to press that program button so let's press there keep current setting and if you look here what it says is please press programming button so you go and now press this programming button on this device let's become red and now it will start downloading so that's it so i download one device and you will have to create a program for each and every device and then download it to that device and then it will work i previously download all the uh, i have already down previously downloaded these two devices to show you how to turn on and off the light if you look into the picture so you see this uh, uh, red and black cable so you see from the power supply it's going to a switch actuator and if you look into the switch actuator there is two more cable going out one is going to USB interface and the other which is going to uh, as I show you previously uh, in the and here let's have a look uh, so this one is this one is going to the switch which you can turn on and off the light through there so this will this cable will this cable will going all around the house or you can then split it around but the only thing is you can't loop them together loop them like don't can't create a loop and that's how it brings flexibility there is no connection between the lights and the switches and Canix final board that's how it looks like after people after we create or whoever done it I don't know but when you create the final panels then this will be here you see these will be all lighting channel blind channel and those things and here you will bring the switches which will connect all the switches and so thanks for watching uh, if you think uh, you want to learn a bit of programming uh, so I have already created a few videos uh, already on the YouTube so you should be able 
to find them on a YouTube and obviously you need the devices to do the uh, programming and see how it works but those devices uh, for that you will need to go to a training center and the those training there will be like five days training which is I think so 750 quid uh, I don't think uh, a student can really afford that and I don't really think you need to go to a training center uh, to know a bit about Canex. So I would highly recommend you watch those videos and just to know uh, a bit about Canex and it will be great to add something onto your profile. Uh, as I mentioned at the first slide, uh, this knx.org there is a lot of other material you can learn you can read about it uh, about knx so why not give it a go thanks for watching see you next time